yo 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 what's going on youtube family i know it's been a very very long time since i tapped in with you guys with the edit video but like i promised on one of our previous live videos right now we're starting to enter the slow season so i have a lot more time on my hands uh spend more time with the family and of course spend more time with these beautiful animals um on today's episode guys i'm gonna talk about a, a couple things i'm gonna talk about you know um i hear a lot of you know people say you know oh, what are you produce what are you produce oh those dogs are bought well we're going to talk about produced dogs and we're going to talk about bought dogs of course the bought animals will be the animals that i purchased from other kennels kennels that i like something when i seen the animals i feel like it could have added something to my yard and we're going to also talk about the animals that we produced here at davis rock rollins guys um like i said the dogs have already been out kennels have already been cleaned um actually just finished doing our puppy area so that's why it's still a little wet over there but uh just give me a second guys i'm gonna put up the last little minute things and we're gonna talk about this thing from an honest perspective from an honest perspective all right guys I'm finna go ahead on and tap in go ahead on and tap in and run my mouth a little bit about the topic of a conversation here lately um purchase dogs those are dogs that you just simply you went out and you purchased you did your research on a couple of reputable breeders you compared this dogs to that dogs and then the pros and cons and then you decided to put down a deposit and then you purchased a puppy from that kennel um in hopes that that puppy matures reaches adulthood and take your kennel to that next level like for instance this right here is nina Nina's, Nina was a purchased female. We did not produce Nina. Nina was a purchased female. This right here is Zena. Uh, Zena was a produced female. Not 100% produced by Davis Rock Rollins because her dad is Sir Milo Davis. Sir Milo Davis is a stud dog from A and Z's Rock Rollins out of Titusville, Florida. So she's not 100% Davis Rock Rollins produced. Why is that? Because I own Nina, Nina is her mom, but I did not own the sire to that litter. So that's not a 100% Davis Rock Rollers production. Dollar Bill. Dollar Bill was also purchased. Dollar Bill was also purchased. That mean I took, I, I took my money and I went and bought Dollar. The same thing as Lotto. Lotto was not only purchased, but Lotto is the first import that we have here on our line, uh, have here in our yard i had lalo since she was around three months of age she was purchased um this is zook hence by the name premier zook billy he was a purchased animal i did my research uh i compared uh i compared shelly's dogs to a lot of other people dogs and i decided to get a dog from shelly not just because i wanted a dog for shelly because I compared it to the other dogs. I was able to see at the time, which was my best female, Nina, next to a dog produced by, produced by Premier's Rock Rollers that's owned by my uncle at A, at C and Z's Rock Rollers out of Titusville, Florida. C and Z's Rock Rollers out of Titusville, Florida. So that's what made me spend my hard earned money with Shelly. All right, this right here is anime. Anna Mae was produced. The reason why Anna Mae was produced because I am the 100% owner of her dad, which is Zoo. And then not only that, I am the 100% owner of her mom, which is Nina, the first female that we showed y'all early in the video. So she's a produced dog. So if somebody wants to say, hey, uh, Mr. Davis, do you got any pictures or videos of puppies that you produce? I got numerous videos. And I also have uh, numerous photos, but most importantly, I have an animal on my yard that I can say came from 100% Davis Rock Rollers dogs. These right here are some available puppies off of the Zook, off of the Zook bred to Zora litter. These dogs are not 100% Davis Rock Rollers production. Why? Because I do not own the male to that dog. Uh, this right here is Chewy. Come on, Chewy. 
The same thing goes with Chewy, guys. Chewy is not a 100% Davis Rock Rollers production. Why? Because him and Nina, him and Zena are little mate brothers and sisters. So therefore, the dad to Chewy is Sir Milo Davis from C and Z's Rock Rollers out of Titusville, Florida. So I have animals on my yard that I produce, correct. Then I also have animals on my yard that I purchase. Uh, does it not make you a breeder if all you do is go and purchase animals? And then you, uh, it, does it not make you a breeder if all you do is purchase uh, animals and you breed uh, animals? You are still a breeder. Now, what class of breeder do you want to classify yourself? That, that totally falls down to you. But, you know, I sit back, I watch a lot of videos, but don't, don't, don't let these people cap y'all out. Like everything on their yard, they produce. At some point in time, everybody purchases something. And then not only that, even when you get to, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of dogs and you build a big name for your kennel, you're still going to be importing dogs. You're still going to be purchasing dogs because if you don't, those puppies that you that you produce every year and you release out to the public, those those other guys, you know what I'm saying, they're going to close that gap. Yeah, guys, like I was saying, you know, in the last scene, just because you go out and purchase grade eight animals or just because you know you're you're buying the top bred dogs at the end of the day it still falls back on you as a breeder you can go out and you can purchase some of the high quality dogs but if you don't know how to breed those dogs or if you don't know what to breed that male or what to put on top of that female you can be pretty much wasting your time you know so it it, it goes both ways man it, it goes both ways but you know here at Davis Rock Rollers, we're going to continue to produce dogs, but then also we're going to continue to purchase animals as well. That That's the way to do it. Now, once you get up to a point where, you know, you still keep some of your in-house stuff. There's nothing wrong with keeping your own in-house stuff, but, you know, if you, if you, if you constantly keeping your own in-house stuff, breeding it, breeding it, breeding it, and then on top of that, you selling it, selling it, you you can't you can't really get in your feelings when you see you know other kennels putting the stamp putting their name on that blood whether if you created it or not you know at the end of the day if they take care of them animals they whelp them puppies and they want to say it's their blood hey it's their blood they purchased the animal from you from you you know the business was right you gave them full breeding right so at the end of the day whatever they want to say they can say you can't control that. I don't I don't worry about that. Now, if they choose to give me my props and say, hey, look, I got this dog from from uh from uh Mr. Davis at you know Davis Rock Rollers, hey, that's fine, I salute you. But at the end of the day, if they don't, at the end of the day, that's on them. That's on them. That doesn't make me mad. I don't look at them as competition. That's just how they choose to do their thing. But at the end of the day, guys, it's not really about where you purchase the animal from. It all it all boils down to pedigrees, pedigrees and DNA. Study that pedigree, study that pedigree, and then you know what I'm saying. Look for certain names and stuff like that, and you can you can search those dogs back. You can search those dogs back. It's all in the pedigree. That's why you're registering these dogs, you know, so you can keep a history of what's going on. I don't know, man. You guys comment below. Let me know what you think about some of the things that, you know, we didn't talk about in this video, man. Not going to be a too, too long video. Like I said, today is uh, a beautiful Sunday, shiny afternoon, beautiful. So I just figured I'd rip out the GoPro today and give you guys what I promise you. Check that boy out right there. Dollar hasn't really had any litters this year. Uh, the man of the hour this year has been Zook. Uh, Zook has all the puppies this year come from Zook. Uh, all the puppies here at Davis Rock Rollers come from Zook. So uh, maybe 2024 it'll be a bigger it'll be a bigger and better year for Dollar. But I decided to give him a break and let my young bull shine. But look at this right here. This right here, Anime Vin Davis, that's produced by Davis Rock Rollers. You see that? You see that? Listen, when I tell y'all, man, I got some big, big plans for this female right here, man. 
some very very big plans i'm i'm happy i was able to get another female off of nina of course she's getting a little bit up in age so i was happy to get that but check that out man to me i think that's a beautiful female right now she's in one of them linky growing stages but trust me it's gonna pop you guys are gonna see it. and if it's the lord's will i want to put some of dollar i want to breed dollar and lotto together and what they produce run a male on top of what uh what zook and nina produce and keep going so on and so forth guys but yeah man i ain't gonna hold you guys up appreciate all the love and support like i said you know at the end of the day it is what it is whether if you bought them or you purchased them at the end of the day they're yours and you got to do whatever you got to do to ensure that these dogs are safe and healthy dollar my uh nephew nephew playing baseball man he left a couple balls outside got these dogs going crazy but hey man appreciate y'all support Y'all be sure to tap in. Let me know what you think. And we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.